You should see her. Oh, do you see him? That's how long her nails are, y'all. Like, do y'all see? It relates, she uh, to uh, the violent incidents in the past, I would say, 24 hours in the city relative to women. Uh, what I will say is none of these acts are random at all. And what we have to understand that women also play a role in violent activity in our city. And so um, they will remain under active investigation. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, uh, people are involved in criminal activity in our city and it plays out on the streets of New Orleans. And it is all genders, right? And we're seeing that. I showed Asia Davis's family this press conference. They were extremely hurt and angry. Mayor Contrell said this. They said those comments weren't warranted. They said they're shocked Mayor Cantrell, being a woman, would say that about other women and that she's not supporting women who lost their lives in the hands of others. They said it was very inconsiderate, especially as the murders just happened and families are grieving. Twenty-eight-year-old Asia Davis was a daughter, niece, best friend, and most importantly, a mother to a beautiful five-year-old daughter who turned six on Mother's Day. Asia had a huge heart and a smile that could light up any room. Her family considered her the glue that kept everyone together. She had an overall passion for helping others, which landed her a job as a certified nursing assistant working with senior citizens. Around 9 a.m. on May 11th, the New Orleans Police Department responded to reports of a shooting near the intersection of Mayo Road and South I-10 Service Road, just yards away from busy I-10 in New Orleans' West Lake Forest area. Upon arrival, they would find an unresponsive woman lying in the middle of the street. Information on this incident is limited, but we do know one woman is dead and we know the victim is female. I'm told by people on the scene that she was in her mid 20s. Police say that they received a call right after 9 a.m. of a woman laying in the street at the at the intersection, excuse me, of Mayo Boulevard and I-10 Service Road. When police arrived on scene and at that intersection, they say they found a woman with multiple gunshot wounds and she was pronounced dead on scene. You could actually see the scene from the interstate off of the eastbound lanes right off of that interstate. While we were on scene, a man did show up and ran through the crime scene tape. He was visibly upset and was screaming, that's my daughter, that's my daughter. Again, he was visibly hurt and upset. The pain in his voice was just piercing through everyone while we were on that scene. Him and another woman did speak with detectives. We're told that other woman is the victim's cousin. Again, they were very upset speaking with detectives, trying to figure out what happened to this woman and who shot her. The victim was identified by neighbors as 28-year-old Asia Davis, who was sadly pronounced dead at the scene. Neighbors said Asia was left fatally wounded in front of her apartment complex in the middle of the service road in clear view of passing traffic, including school buses, until police arrived to shield her from public view. Officers gathered evidence at the intersection and questioned possible witnesses for several hours. As detectives questioned a man at the scene who identified himself as Asia's father, he described her relationship with the man he believed became violent. He told police he urged her to leave him alone. Family members at the time declined to be interviewed. The next day, a memorial was placed at the intersection of Mayo Boulevard and South I-10 Service Road. Her family, visibly hurt and shocked, says although they are coming to terms with the unexpected loss of their loved one, they are barely holding on. They want justice for their loved one, not just empty words, but action. Like many families across New Orleans, they're tired of the bloodshed. Less than 24 hours after Asia was killed, two other women were killed in the city. She was the fourth mother to be shot in a targeted killing in the past three weeks and the 10th woman to be murdered in New Orleans this year. In two of the shootings, small children watched their mother gunned down right in front of them. Now Asia's mother is left to raise her five-year-old daughter, who was born on Mother's Day, and will now celebrate her sixth birthday without her. This memorial paying tribute to 28-year-old Asia Davis, who was shot and killed at the intersection of Mayo Boulevard and the South I-10 service road. Her family now grieving the loss of a young mother, daughter, sister, cousin, niece, and best friend. <laughs> Today, Kenya Davis sits here without 
her only daughter, Asia Davis. We, uh, we're not, I mean, we barely we're holding on. on. Kenya now left to raise Asia's five-year-old child, who was born on Mother's Day and will now celebrate her sixth birthday without her mother. My grandbaby is like my best friend. I love her to death. And my daughter knew that. I love my daughter. Asia was shot and killed Thursday morning. That's the sickening part about all of this. She's laid out on the concrete by herself. The family says she had a big heart and never stopped aiming for greatness. She overcame a lot of obstacles in life. She had a, a special patience because she was a home health aide for senior citizens and she loved to work with older people. She was a very beautiful person. <laughs> very she was a life of the party, you know. She uh, very respectable. Everybody she meet just loved her. The family laughing and crying together about the glue Asia was to this now broken family. She'll make you mad, but then a couple of minutes later you couldn't do nothing but laugh at her because she was a, a she, she just was a comedian and all right. Like many families across New Orleans, they're tired of the bloodshed. Less than 24 hours after Asia was killed, two other women were killed in the, in the city. Something has got to be done. It has to stop. We're just losing all of our children. They want action, not empty words. What are the leaders doing? They need help. They need to understand that you need help. Crime is out of control. Somebody has got to do something. After her untimely murder, Asia's family set up a GoFundMe to help with her unexpected funeral expenses. As of right now, there's still no motive or leads in the case, and law enforcement, along with family members, are encouraging anyone with information to come forward. The case remains ongoing.